Hi friends, it's Susan Smith with Stamp Creatively and I have the Graceful Deer and Winter Owls. I'm going to create with the Graceful Deer and then the words I'm going to use come from May you have time to enjoy the quiet moments of the season because it matches these deer perfectly. I live in the woods and I have three deer that I unloaded my car the other day and I went back out to get one more thing and they were walking across my driveway. And then they were in the front yard the other morning and made my dolls nuts. So I did it with the pecan cardstock and then I did it with the um, craft. So they're both stamped on craft, but it's just a matter of which card base I used. So let me show you how I did them. So I'm gonna take my graceful deer and I just left it in the case. I stuck it there, um, wanted my Stamparatus, can't have it, so I just stuck it in there just like that. I used my early espresso and I tapped it on the stamp. And you can see we used it at camp, so it's well inked. And then I took my um, crumb cake, laid it down, put my, put a paper towel on it, so I didn't get schmutched on my hands. And then I just took the um, back of this stamp, a block, just so I had a block to kind of move around over it to make sure I got an impression. And there's my deer. They're beautiful. Then I wanted a soft color on my deer. So I went in and I'm a huge watercolor pencil fan. So I pulled out my watercolor pencils and I decided to use the pecan pie for the trees. And I just went over them real quick. Again, any camp, if I say I did a card for camp, it is not more is more. It's more is not as much more. So I have some pecan pie on my trees. Then I used early espresso and I'm not pushing very hard. I want to color these guys real light. So I'm just going to go over it real lightly. With the early espresso because again this is um, the way I'm going to do it. It is going to pull some of the color from the ink that I put down. I have some pretty pink. I mean, it's flamingo. So I wanted to do the inside of their ears. And then this one is Cajun Craze. And again, I'm doing it real light. My deer are white-tailed deer. And it's a mama and two little ones. At least that's what my husband says. Because when I came inside, I go, the deer are in the driveway if you want to go see them. He was like, I'm going to mix a little over here with this one. Okay, then I'm going to take my blender pen and I'm just going to go over it real, pull a little bit of the espresso out. Again, it's a really quick color. And then I'm going to color my deer. Freaks my dogs out when they're in the front yard. They went out there loaded for bear. They were going to catch a deer. They did not. We have an underground fence. And so they have two acres on this side of the road and um, to run around. And they're not chasing the deer across the road. That is against all of the rules. So see, I just kept this really quick. And when you think about those words about enjoying the quiet moments, it's just perfect. Then I took my white craft pad and a small blend brush. And again, don't you don't want too much ink on this. See that? That's probably a lot. I'm going to tap some of that off. 
because you're just going to create a little bit of a winter wonderland at the bottom. Because when we get a little bit of snow in the woods, it kind of looks like this. Is that not just adorable? Then I wanted just a little more snow, so I took my water painter. This is a little bit of the white craft refill and water. I'm just gonna tap it on there. And if you're going, oh my gosh, that's so dark, when it dries, it softens up and it just looks it looks like magic. Now, if you didn't notice, one of the fun things over here in this corner is a bird. So I took a light um, sweet sorbet and put a little red bird in the corner. Now remember the words are May you have time to enjoy the quiet moments of the season. If that's not a quiet moment card, I don't know what is. So now I took my base and I'm going to use the um, crumb cake. And I don't mind adding um, same to same. But I like to do this. So I'm back to my espresso and I'm just going to tap the edges. And I'm only going to do um, two sides of the four. So when I put it on there, you can see the difference. So I'm going to take my seal, put this on here. I didn't feel like there was any room on the front for those pretty words. So they go on the inside. So when I put this down, I want you to see. So you can see I tapped those two edges and how it shows up like a little border and this, it just kind of blends in. So I love tapping. And those white dots are almost dry and they're just like blending into the background. It's so pretty. So there's one, here's one again um, on the same craft where I went all the way around to all four edges. And then here it is on pumpkin pie. And it's your card and you get a pick. Now we have these beautiful snowflakes, these adhesive backed snowflakes, and I thought about adding some, which you always 100% can do, but I just wasn't sure. I just liked it plain. I have some people that love to make complicated Christmas cards, and they look, and when I do one like this, they always go, what? It's too simple, but I may copy it. All right, friends, thanks for joining me. Hopefully you have a peaceful moment today. All right, have a good one. Bye.